Hi friends and welcome to my channel. So today is a request video for a subscriber. So I want to do this video for uh, him. So this is gonna be uh, how to use a morph target. With morph target you can use, for example, you can blink with your uh, eyes. Uh, also you can use to open and close your mouth. You can use it for move your eyes, things like that for your character. So I wanna teach you how to do that. So before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you so much for all your support because you keep this channel going. And with your support, I want to create this small studio so we can provide you absolutely for free asset, animation, blueprint, and also my personal help full time completely free. So if you want to help us in this um, project, you only need to go to my coffee page and you can donate for just one dollar if you want or you can be a member. If you're a member, you're going to have exclusive stuff, for example, exclusive videos, access to the video before it's published, and also the project files from this tutorial. Um, if you're a member already, you want to see all is available for you, you only need to go to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel in the right top corner here. If you click here, they're going to open a new list with all the stuff we already uh, make. So this is going to be the last update. I update this list almost every day. This is going to be the video game my wife makes, it is a Mimi to Love, you can enter here in Steam page, it's already available. So um, this one is going to be free for everybody if you want, and this is going to be the last uh, videos added in the last update. Uh, also all the exclusive videos, all unpublished tutorial videos and English and Spanish, and also the unpublished game videos and the project file from the tutorial. So if you are a member, you only need to go to the, uh, click in the links, so they're gonna be directly where these things are. So if you want to talk with me directly, you can go to my Discord channel. So if you have some questions about the, your project, or maybe you need help in your project for something, or you need um, uh, a tutorial for something, or a request like a video that's some, like this one, so you need to write me to my disco. For me, it's more easy to respond from the disco to respond for the comments on YouTube. So if you want to talk with me privately or sponsorship, you have to write me to my email. My email and the link of Coffee and Discord is going to be in the description of this video. So uh, also remember that 100% uh, the money raised is going to be for the creation of the video game and for the YouTube channel. So thank you and let's start the tutorial. So let's go to Unreal. And here I create this uh, two uh, master material there. No, you don't need to do it, but I just for to have some material in the character and also a uh, empty with nothing at all, so only of privacy, so you you can see nothing. For example, for something I I want to hide or something like that, so I use a no color in my case. And also I create this uh, blueprint character with only that face. So let's put this on one. That's already. So let's put this more close to have better look what we want to do. So let's put this like here. And also, uh, that's the only thing you need to have. So you need to have some character that want to have more target and already make. So there's a lot in the marketplace. So if you want to buy it or if you want to do it one for yourself, you need to do it from Maya or maybe a Blender. But like I said before in another videos, I know I don't use <laughs> a Blender and things like that, so that's more difficult to explain how to make this stuff. But it's a lot in the marketplace you, you can buy, so they're gonna have these things already um, available. So it's more expensive probably, the character, but I recommend it you to buy that one because they have, like I said, more things to do. So that's awesome. So that's when I you need to have if you don't so this uh, tutorial did not want to work for you so let's uh, start with this one so let's put this more close so the only we want to do is for this tutorial maybe I want to do uh, some uh, kind of mini tutorial so a few videos about this how to do this stuff but in this tutorial I want to show you the more basic one that gonna be blinking so that's really easy. So I have this one already blink. So if I go to one, they close the eyes. I don't know if you can see it. And also we can close the eyes with zero. If I go uh, above zero, they're gonna be too much to open it. 
So we don't want to do that. So uh, they in auto, so they wanna be in zero. I also have here smile, so they wanna be in maybe another video for you want to, I make it. And also the, if you want to do that, is it angry or something like that? A surprise too, so this really good character. So they have uh, open the mouth and they have everything. And also we can blink only with, with eye if we want. So when the thing we I, to, I teach you today, you're gonna be able to do all this stuff. So let's save thing and let's go to start making that blueprint. So there's two ways to make these things happen. One is use the we have here, the open here, it's gonna be at level sequence. So you can use sequence to make this stuff. I see a lot of tutorial using the sequence, so they don't have too many sense to make the same tutorial like everybody does so I want to do the other way you can do it and also for me it's more easy and more easy to explain and also the, you have more, uh, more uh, mobility to uh, adjust a lot of things you want so they're gonna be using blueprints so the only you need to go to event graph so let's create some blueprint here so we can use for example we can use event tick but like I said before in other videos I try to avoid to use event tick. Oh, this is good for if you want to test it. So I don't want to use event tick. So let's delete this. Let's compile and save. And let's do this stuff. So we're gonna need something first. We need mesh. So let's try the mesh because the mesh is with the uh, character half. This more uh, in here. Let's track if put more. Uh, get more no set more target so yeah so this open here and the only we need is uh, what name of the target is so right now we have this character so we want to blink so they have this thing so blink so let's put in here so let's put blink like that and we want to be a value we want so zero, that means that we have right now, zero is nothing. So I want to be one. So let's close this. So let's go to here, it put one. So let's compile, save. And we want to, for example, so let's try this, it put a delay. Let's see, for example, let's make a delay of 0 0.2, that's gonna be good. And let's do this again, so copy and paste. I'll put this together, and the value now I want to be zero, so they're gonna be open again. And the target, they're gonna be the mesh, so let's put this in here, and let's reroute this to look a little better. So let's compile and save. So let's test this out. So if you go view four, yeah, go to simulation. I don't, I don't need to put this character in the game because right now they don't have nothing, so it's very difficult to. See it? But here, if I go to simulator, you can see this blinking. You see? So this working pretty fine. So that's gonna be it. So that's working. So let's do to this uh, uh, blinking. They do it all the time. So for doing this, a lot of people, like I said, they're using tick note. But you try. I try to avoid that because you don't need it for everything. So in here, let's do a retailable delay so from here let's retrieval delay I want for example okay, every two seconds for example I want to do this again so let's put this together and also let's reroute this a little bit because they don't look good at all <laughs> so let's put this here something more professional so like that that so now every two seconds they're gonna close the eye 0 0.2 seconds they're gonna open again so let's test it out so compile save let's go to viewport and let's go to simulation so that's blinking after two seconds they're supposed to blinking all the time so that's better for now maybe this looping but that's good for a game a basic game but if you want to do it more realistic realistic way it's better to do something random everything so let's stop this go to the event graph 
and here we want to change a few things here to make this more real so let's drag this a little bit because we need a space here so from here I want to not always close the same time because nobody close the eyes at the same time every time they close it so from here we want to drag this I'm gonna put rain no float range or oh, the, the opposite yeah random float float in rate so let's open this and we want to do for example the something small the minimum we want to be closing the eyes it's gonna be 0 0.1 in my case you can put any value you want and the maximum I I believe this good for is 0 0.3 I think the 0 0.3 is a lot of time close the eye, but they're gonna be good. So this random flow and range, that means they're gonna use the minimum 0 0.1 to go to maximum 0 0.3. They're gonna be something in between. They can be, for example, 0 0.2, that's more easy, or they can be something like 0 0.1113, 0 0.13, 0 0.17, they can be anything. Also 0 0.2 something. So that's really Cool to be more random so let's test it out so let's compile and save let's go again to the viewport go to simulation and you can see now it's blinking sometimes more time less time you can notice too much because 0.3 this don't really that much but at least we have this more realistic and also we don't want to blink in every two seconds nobody <laughs> blink in every two seconds so we want to change this the same that I do it here. So to make this more professional still, so let's open this and copy this, paste, and let's put this together. But this time I don't want to be that small, so the minimum I want to blink in every one second, and a maximum then uh, I don't know, probably six. So every time one second or six, they're gonna uh, blink so if it's two seconds they're gonna blink it's three so uh, blink or four blink or maybe something between like I said for example three points something they're gonna be more random so they're really more realistic so let's compile and save so let's test this out so let's go to viewport go simulation and now we have every between one and six seconds they're gonna blink in so now it's more realistic to make this stuff so that's gonna be it for this video you know now how to blink in and also if you want to blink in with only one eye for whatever reason you only need to copy this one oh, well this stuff uh, copy and separate it put no this more target name you want to use the other one if it the character half for example blink l they want to be left or blink right so you can use this one the same way you're making this so that's gonna be it for the video and also you can use this system to use in the open close your mouth but of course they're gonna be random so that depends on your game for example if you're using a zombie uh, character they're gonna be easy to open and close your mouth and also go angry so they're gonna be more realistic way to make your games so that's gonna be it for this video. So if you want to support us to create that small studio so we can provide you absolutely for free, asset, animation, blueprint, and also my personal help, uh, help uh, full time, uh, absolutely for free, you only need to go to my coffee and support us wherever you can. So like I said, thank you for watching the video. I see you in the next video. So bye bye.